There. Uh, this is uh, Derwin King at Sampson Community College, and I wanted to uh, uh, give you a little video here uh, showing uh, a motor that um, that was donated by Schindler Escalator uh, Company here in town. And this is an escalator motor that was donated uh, by Gary at, uh, at Schindler uh, for our students to wire up and program. And uh, what I wanted to show you is um, a, a follow-up video from the first one I made. The one we did the other day, I didn't show these meters side by side, so there, so, there, so there could have been some confusion on the readings when you look at just the scope meter readings alone. So I've come back and redid the video to clarify something here. Um, the, the scope meter, I'm using it just to show you how the waveform looks leaving the VFD. That you have a PWM, pulse width modulated output, that looks like a square wave. And as you can see right now on the scope meter, it's, it's running at uh, right at 60 hertz. And that's what the drive is uh, set for on speed right now. But the funny thing is when you look at the uh, at the voltage on the scope, it says that it's 530 volts or 0.5 something, uh, kilovolts, 0.529 kilovolt, which is, you know, which is really high. Um, that that voltage there is is um, due to, there are harmonics that are, that, are on, that are on that wave there. You see the little fuzzy uh, parts there. You've got harmonics that are in there and harmonics are a side effect to VFDs. It, those are multi multiples of the fundamental frequency of 60 hertz that are, that are higher frequencies that are, that, are, that are contained in that signal. And those extra frequencies in there, the higher ones cause the meter to, you know, to, to calculate higher um, is, is what it's doing. Because of the bandwidth, the bandwidth of the scope, it has a, a 20 megahertz bandwidth. So this scope is actually, um, you know, it's able to read those higher frequencies to where the regular voltmeter beside of it, I've got it set up to actually filter those, those harmonics out using something called low pass. So with the scope, you know, you, you only want to pay attention to the way the waveform looks and look at the frequency. I'm just showing you for the frequency and the, uh, the appearance of the waveform is the reason I'm, I'm using, using the scope. So if you look over here at this meter, this is a Fluke 1587 um, multimeter that'll also do meg, meg, uh, meg testing and all that. But it has a, a, a feature that corrects that voltage reading to where you know you have that high number over here of, of uh, 529 volts. This is actually correct right here, of around 460 volt that's coming out of the drive right now. So um, the, this drive here, the, the PowerFlex 70, it, it's a 480 volt uh, rated drive, but it won't go any higher than 460 volt. I've been trying to get 480 out of it, uh, but it won't it won't do it. Um, your, your motor is rated for 480 volt. I see on the nameplate back behind it, and um, even though I've got the parameter set for nameplate voltage of 480 volt, this drive it it's not going to give us any more than 460 volts. And I've talked with uh, with Rockwell about it, and um, you know most. High voltage motors are going to be uh, nameplate voltage is going to be rated at 460. This one, this one is actually rated the nameplate voltage at 480. Now, uh, the only way you're going to get that is if you use the the the, uh, the, uh, the motor starters and go across the line. So with the VFD, you know, we're uh, all we're going to get is the 460. So if you get back to this um, to explain um, the this number, why is this number different than this number over here uh, on the scope? as far as the voltage reading. Now, on this meter here, you, if you look here on the, on the voltage setting, you have a blue, a blue icon that says low. And low means low pass. And if it's a second function, when you hit the blue button, you get the, the low pass icon, which means it's gonna pass only low frequencies into the meter, like 60 hertz and below. The higher frequencies of the harmonics that are present in that signal there, of that PWM uh, signal, those harmonics are going to be blocked by this meter, and they will not they will not uh, be uh, calculated in the RMS voltage calculation. So, with all that being said, if I go in there and cut off the the low pass function, you can see the low pass go away. And look at there, this meter is actually thinks that we've got 503 volts, which is somewhere kind of in the range of this one but it's actually you know even different than that one but it's still over 500 volts so it's saying 503 rms but that's unfiltered that's like with counting harmonics and everything so if you go in and you hit the the low pass again you see uh on here you have the low is a second function 
and I hit the blue, and you see the icon pop up. Now we're getting actually the real number of the 460 volt there that the drive of the fundamental frequency of 60 hertz. You know, the fundamental, the base frequency that we're running at is around 60 hertz. And so we're having to use, I'm having to use two meters here to give me the whole picture, to see the waveform and to get the true RMS of the fundamental 60 hertz there. And uh, so that's, I wanted to redo the video because I know it could have been confusing to any of you watching the why that number was so high. And, um, and again, it's because of the bandwidth. You know, the bandwidth of this scope is 20 megahertz. And this meter doesn't have a low pass function in there. I don't, I've looked all in there and I haven't found any way. Um, I've, I've contacted Fluke and I'm waiting on an answer for them. And, um, but there's no low pass function in this meter. I tried something called smoothing. The smoothing feature actually makes it look worse. Uh, so this is where, uh, this is the best it's gonna get with, with, with the scope. But you do get a chance to see, you know, the frequency. Um, the shape of the waveform. So what I'm gonna do next is this. I'm gonna change the, the frequency on the drive. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna change it from 60 hertz down to say uh, 50 hertz. So I'm gonna bring it on down. And as I do, you're gonna see the waveform uh, shape will change. So here we go, you're getting to see it go down some. So watch, watch closely. You'll see the frequency start to go down uh, gradually and then the waveform is gonna start stretching out some, getting a little wider there. So you're sitting around 49, let's bump it up, get it up right, right about 50. Now, so you're sitting right now around 50 hertz And the real voltage calculation that's filtered with low pass is telling us 392 volts RMS. Now the unfiltered RMS voltage is saying, you know, 400 and around 488. You can't you can't go by that number there. That number is is including the bandwidth of all the harmonics that are contained in that waveform. You see all of the all the fuzzy uh, edges there. The PWM it, it does a lot of fast switching in there. And it produces, uh, you know, harmonics. It's a side effect that that's just inherent with with, uh, with these VFDs. So, so anyway, pay attention to this number, this number, and then the frequency. And you know, look at those two, and then you can actually see the the waveform, um, you know, stretching out. So, uh, you know, this is proportional. You were at 460 volts um, at, at 60 hertz, and this is uh, proportional. The, the voltage will, will will decrease proportional when you change the frequency now. Let's cut the frequency in half to, to 30 hertz. And you should see the voltage uh, here be exactly half of that 460. Um, so we're gonna go down again. I'm bringing, bringing the, the drive speed down with my left hand. I'm holding my uh, camera here with the right hand. Trying to get it right down around 30 hertz to get it to show you that the proportion, it, it really is pretty close to being half there. So that's 32 hertz, 31 hertz. So we're 29 now. Okay, so, so look here, very important point here. At 30 hertz, which is half of the original 60, you've got exactly half of the original voltage. You know, we had 460 volts in the beginning at 60 hertz, right? So now we've chopped that frequency in half and we have half the voltage. You know, you've got, you know, 460, half of that will be 230. So this meter, you know, with with the low pass feature, you know, does give you a true a true uh, calculation of, of the fundamental frequency there of the 30 hertz. And it's blocking those higher uh, frequency harmonics that, that the scope is not. You know, the scope is giving you the full the full reading of everything of all the content of that waveform and it's it's saying around 376 and you can't go by that so um as far as our concerns you know so now let's cut the let's cut the 30 hertz in half to 15 
and we should see that number there actually split in half from 230 you should see it go half of that 230 maybe around 115 roughly so i'm going to bring the frequency down again Uh, went too far. Let's go back up to to uh, 15 hertz. And it, the the scope is trying to recalculate. Eleven hertz, twelve hertz. Let me bump it up a little bit more. Fourteen hertz. You know, you're right at you're right at fifteen there. So bump it one more time. Slow response on the drive now. So you're sitting there at fifteen hertz now. Fifteen hertz. Uh, speed and you've got about 120 volts so you got a little less than half of what you had a while ago and that's roughly a quarter roughly approximately of the original 460 it's it's not exactly a quarter but it's pretty close to it and you're sitting here now at a very very low very very low uh, speed here on the drive I know you're not going to run them that slow unless it might be in crawl mode but uh, but anyway I just wanted to, to go through and, and clear up the readings that were on the first video that, that I know could have been confusing for anybody that was watching it. And the only way, I've investigated about the, the scope and all of that, and it's, uh, you know, it is what it is as far as uh, the, the voltage reading there. And you, you really got to rely on a low pass reading to get um, the number that you're concerned with. So I'm going to uh, bump it back up again to um, 30 hertz. And you can see here that the, the, the drive, of course, is speeding up some. The, the tape wrapped around there to keep that key from coming out, that key was actually uh, like it was uh, pressed in, it felt like, and the key did not want to come out of that shaft, so we just put some tape on there. Uh, Nathan put some tape on there, him and uh, Luke. Uh, Nathan Piercy and Luke uh, Matthews wired it up, and they did the programming on the drive, and uh, they're not here at the moment. But I, I came in here this afternoon and wanted to... Uh, to do a, a, a comparison there with the meters and show you this. And um, so there you go at, at 30 hertz, you know, you're sitting at, um, you know, approximately half of what you had in the, in the beginning, um, approximately. And go on back up, get back up to, uh, go down some. Right. It, it, when you get it exactly at 30, then, then you're sitting around around 230 there, which is half of the 460. So that's sort of the point I was trying to make there. Going to uh, jump it on back up. The 60 hertz. You see the waveform compressing there is your frequency. You get more cycles per second. Frequency means cycles per second and you're getting more of them in a given amount of time. And so there you go back at the original of 60 hertz and around around 460 volts, which is the most that this drive is gonna put out. Even though the motor can run at 480, um, we're, um, that's what we're stuck with with the drive. Um, now, later on when, when we do use the uh, the motor starters and do wide delta starting, you'll be, we'll, we'll be applying 480 to it. But it won't be a PWM signal, it won't be pulse width modulated, it'll be straight sine wave. Coming, coming off the line. Um, so anyway, um, and there you go with the motor running there at 60 hertz. Uh, and the, the, the RPM rating of the motor is, um, uh, let's see, 1146, uh, 1146 RPM at, at 480 volt and at 60 hertz. So we're, we're, uh, we're shy about um, 20 volts. We're 20 volts shy there but we do have the, the frequencies there. So anyway, I'm gonna, gonna stop the video this time. Again, it's uh, Durable King at Samson Community College, and uh, we appreciate uh, Gary uh, donating the motor. 
And we, we will use a motor with wide delta starting when I get the parts together for it and have the guys do a lab that way. But right now, the focus in our shop is actually on VFDs. And um, we have PowerFlex 4s over in that area on, on some trainers. We've got a 70 right here, and we got some brand new 525 Allen Bradley drives with Ethernet that we're going to be uh, getting into uh, real soon. I'm starting to get those in stock now. So, um, anyway, um, we're going to end the video at that point. Now, thank you for watching, and, um, and we'll, um, we'll include uh, the students in the next video. And uh, y'all have a blessed evening, and uh, thanks for watching.